Um, long story short, um, I really do think the co-sign from Virgil helped Heron Preston, but I do really think he kind of went over and beyond um, really proving that he has a voice in the fashion industry. Um, he has a specific tone. He has a specific um, idea, impression. Uh, and just, a, yeah, a, a specific idea of what he thinks fashion should look like on the runway. And it's completely different to what you would see from anyone else. And you know what I like about it too? It's unabashedly, right? With no sense of irony, with no sense of kind of ashamedness, it's hundred percent streetwear, sportswear. You know, in the, in, the, in the world we're living in now, where you know, I, this is kind of. I feel like some journalists out there are kind of you know fed up of seeing people like me on the runway, or people like you and I designing the clothes, or people like you and I in this fashion scene sitting on the runway. So they're using these weird kind of coded dog whistles. That you know around the, the term I hear, I hear that phrase a lot nowadays with fashion journalists oh tailoring is back tailoring is back why because tailoring automatically insinuates that the person that made it went to a prestigious school right or did an apprenticeship right Savile Row or went to a school so that's years in the making it's not like an overnight station because they think everyone that pops now is overnight which isn't necessarily true right you look at Heron Preston's CV and you can see he's been working at this in the various guises for years right 10 plus years and it's no coincidence too, like after the 10 year mark, everyone seems to like hit another level. It's no, especially if you're consistent and you're kind of persistent in what you're doing. Consistency and persistency. Consistency and persistence. Yeah. Anyway, um, but it feels like nowadays some journalists are getting fed up with seeing sportswear streetwear on a runway and they're trying to push this narrative that tailoring is back in order to prop up designers who come from more conventional backgrounds, i.e. fashion schools, i.e. apprenticeships, right? And that automatically minus is out the whole group of new breed of fashion designers that are popping up at the moment and i'm really pissed off at it. it really annoys me but the best way to kind of answer your critics especially if you're creative is to not address them directly it's just to carry on creating keep making amazing clothes have people buy them and just your success is sort of like you know the perfect answer to those kind of questions and in reality critics especially journalists people that sit on show studio for the some for some of them they're not necessarily consumers of fashion they're just critics right people that critique fashion they might have a vested interest in other things whatever it may be but they're not necessarily the consumer so they don't necessarily you know they don't necessarily have that much of a voice in what you're doing um but i like the fact that Aaron Preston is just unabashedly just going for it streetwear and sportswear this is my lane i'm not going to deviate from that and again look at looking at how he dresses looking at the things that he's into it makes fairly it makes a lot of sense but just as a caveat off the back of it, looking at it, 100% is the best collection so far. You can definitely see um, what a bit of investment uh, in manufacturing and production can do for your company. I think all the things that, even though Kanye has gone off the, off the, you know, off the reservation, has gone a bit nuts over the few last few years and whatever it may be, you can definitely tell, you can definitely see that he had a lot of really, of right, no, he had a lot of, um, he was 100% right when he said, when he was really pushing for production and in manufacturing investment in his line easy right he was really really pushing for it right saying that you know he needs to create on like a stella mccartney level right where she's just able to pump out you know pristine immaculate well put together designs or collections year after year season after season after season and now you see why because it costs a lot to manufacture these, to produce these shows right it costs a lot to even just produce the actual show itself let alone the clothing so to have such a big group like New Gods group behind you, um, you know, taking the strain of manufacturing off your shoulders and um, having access to some of the best manufacturing and production people in the industry who do everything. Because most of the time, the production warehouses and manufacturing places, they all use the same people, right? There's some people for the same, there's maybe the LVMH group and some other people who, who have their own factories that no one else uses, but for the most part, everyone shares them. But you need contacts in order to get in. So having New Gods group behind you, Heron Preston, this is what you get. You And there's no coincidence. Heron Preston, um samuel ross virgil a few others you can see the level of of finish has kind of stepped up since they've got the investment but again as a caveat um having known heron and bumped into him a few times here and on the scene and having seen what he's done and knowing that he's not necessarily quote-unquote a fashion dude i would more describe him as maybe a style guy hence the kind of you know um cyrillic script that he has on his on his um on his clothing and stuff so um i wouldn't necessarily customize as a quote-unquote you know his dreams always to be a fashion designer to see him do this is fucking amazing but also oh i'm so jealous so so jealous whether or not i would ever make my own brand or not is debatable you know m maybe i should maybe I, I haven't done it because i'm a big pussy who knows but to see somebody who necessarily isn't in it for the fashion and is in it more so to be a, a creative and just have his little mark on the fashion on the creative timeline 
um, of the scene in general and just be about, you know, and kind of do his best work and put his vision through clothing and other projects. To see him do this on this level is just awe-inspiring, but it does fill me with the jealousy, I'm not going to lie. It's like, wow, this guy's fucking smashed it. And again, like I said, like your lump it is what you, what you want to say, but for what, for that kind of area of fashion, streetwear, sportswear stuff, there's nothing better out there. I don't think so, personally. He's really, really gone over and beyond. And you can see it too, because there's a lot of athletes wearing his shit. And a lot of um, celebrities wearing his stuff now. And that's not, you know, just a coincidence of just style, stylists placing stuff on people. That's stylists of the said celebrities and athletes noticing, oh shit, this stuff looks well good on my client, will look good um, on this person that I'm representing. And will kind of compliment them overall. And again, I think that goes to show just how popular his things are, you know, the, so many stockists, or whatever. It's just insane. Anyway, let's get to the collection and stop jacking him off. Um, here we go. Uh, yeah, overall great collection. Um, great bits of quote unquote tailoring. Um, I like his kind of. Um, I like his interpretation of a suit. I think you got a suit here with like a drawstring. It looks like so like a drawstring you see on a down jacket. Oh, that is actually down. Oh, that is actually. It looks like it might be down or quilted the entire thing. That's amazing. I love that. So it's like quilted pants, um, and a blazer with sort of zip ties on the waistband i love the logo too on the outside i think that's a really um clever little uh branding piece that he's done on most of his clothing it kind of reminds me of those old horrible it's he sort of elevated those horrible logos that you get on like moss bros or tm lewin suits they used to rent back in the day to go to prom and all that shit right the horrible logos you just unpick them straight away but he's kind of upgraded it by having like his crazy nice little branding on the side of it so all when someone sees you wearing it they notice the kind of safety orange because you know he's synonymous with his brand now which again a clever thing because you know look at virgil in a white and black sort of like cross thing at the back which i hate as a logo but it's synonymous with uh, off-white same with um this orange color it's synonymous now with helen preston it's really, really clever, 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 clever branding. Again, it goes back to Sarah, you know? That's what I said. He's not a fashion dude. He's a creative marketing guy that's been able to... And this is probably a good experiment. I wonder if we're going to see this later on in, in later on in, for, in, in, in future years. Um, more marketeers and branding guys coming into fashion. Maybe as a collective. Maybe, you know, the solo person doesn't exist or there won't be that many of them, but maybe collectives like, you know, Imagine if a fuck Jerry decided to do a clothing collection, even though they're, they're not, you know, they're not the pest resistance at the moment now. There's insane. But imagine somebody like that, a, an ad agency came in and did their own clothing brand. If whether or not they could actually be on point, I reckon they could, right? They could just probably, you know, analyze algorithms and shit, um, use that as a mood board and probably put stuff out. I don't know. I wonder if that will happen because I, I think this hair and present experiment has been pretty successful so far. Um, so yeah great take on suiting i love the suits um nice sheer tops there obviously that belt is something of real beauty i really like the mechanism on the on the belt that he has really clever take on it and it kind of loops around the front oh i love the actual little side bag too a little personal side too looks really really great the sneakers are interesting too on here right i think they're quite modular similar to the elite sneaker where you can kind of it's a boot inside of a it's a boot inside of a little cage thing I'm sure there's a collaboration with Nike. I'm pretty sure because Heron Preston's got like a good history with Nike. So I'm pretty sure there might be a collaboration with Nike. I'll have to check that later. Again, great dresses. Dresses, you know, I think Bella Hadid is obviously his muse. Or, Be you know, Bella Hadid, right? It's Bella Hadid wears quite a lot of Heron Preston. And, of course, Off-White. But you can definitely see the muse that he's trying to go for. The, the there's I love the heels and sort of like heels, heel slide things, right? With the Velcro strap on the front. But also heels with Nike socks look incredible. This suit here, the yellow suit, is probably the big standout piece. I think a lot of people were sharing on social uh, the other day. It looks amazing with the um, uh, babushka headscarf with a little pin strap on there. It looks absolutely incredible. Big fan of that. Again, just great styling tips. Nothing really crazy in terms of referencing all that malarkey. Just really clever twist and interpretations of staple pieces in your wardrobe. You know, a great little rain jacket here. Uh, Gore-Tex that's actually... Oh, clever dude. He's flipped it inside. I'm not sure if this is styling or this is a actual finished product, but it's a Gore-Tex jacket that's essentially been flipped inside out. So you can see all the um, heat press seams that are on the inside, which are usually the most interesting part of a Gore-Tex jacket. Whenever I've had one, you know, looking at your kind of tape seams on the inside, it's always quite cool to see. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Maybe not the most breathable thing in the world, but, you know, still, who cares about breathability when you want to swag out on people? Um, I love the pants too. Um, essentially look a little bit like cargo work. I mean, Carhartt work pants. They look really great as well. Again, just a great um, iteration and, and you know, um, of 
the stuff that he actually wears himself, the boots, the big pants, uh, everything's quite boxy fitting, which I'm a big fan of. This jacket is probably my favorite so far I've seen. Um, it's sort of like, um, would you call it a coach jacket or work jacket? I've got that kind of jacket it's called. Um, mechanics jacket. It's sort of like a crop jacket with two front pockets, a zip pocket on the front, another big flat pocket on the top. But I, I like the massive zip. I like the little detail in the middle of the jacket too. That makes it look like there's another zip on there. I love the new logo he has here. Heron with a, with a style thing on there. I love the short shorts, which look great as well. So I've seen a lot of the short shorts actually this this season. So these are the shoes. They look quite modular to me, right? Look like they kind of sat in. They look really nice. So I'm really a big fan of those. Again, just great collection. Great pieces for women as well. Nice crop jeans. That shirt, that blue flame shirt is going to be everywhere. For sure, you're going to see that everywhere. That's a definitely, definitely a cop. I love the shoes from last season. I think those are there as well. Um, just an overall great, great collection from Heron. I think, again, easily his best collection so far. Oh, I love the chain. That's amazing. There's a chain here. Uh, bolt chain with a, with like a little um, orange carabiner sort of thing that clips it together, which looks fucking awesome. Big fan again. Those heels, those high heel slide things are such a clever, clever, clever flip on slides and upgrade on it. So essentially, like a Yeezy slide, but with a high heel on the back of it. They're gonna be crazy um, successful with some of those Instagram girls that love wearing hair and press and stuff. Especially these athletic sort of like inspired things. They're gonna be all over that. I love the bags kind of strapped on the neck as a neck as a necklace. Another great jacket too. Boots with the socks. Just great, great, great silhouettes overall. Again, very clever take in um flip on sportswear um and streetwear done unabashedly, unashamedly. You know, he's got streetwear pass, he's not ashamed of it, and he's just showing it on the highest platform that exists, isn't it? Paris Runway, man. Absolutely incredible. Easily one of my favourite collections so far I've seen uh, thus far. But I just wanted to mention it because, you know, it just happened the other day and why not? I love the Babushka scars things, but again, you know, if ASA Rocky does it, I'm not gonna do it. It's a bit cringe that way, isn't it? But, oh, that denim suit is nice. Yeah, I think it's all a bit cringe, isn't it? The Bushka thing, you know, it looks good on Aesop Rocky, but the moment you do it, you immediately look like an Aesop Rocky clone, isn't it? And no one wants to do that, really. You know, he sets a tempo on his side. You want to set a tempo on your side. But I love this pink denim suit. Not sure if it's going to come in men's. Hopefully it does, because I saw the, the trousers on, the, on some guys too. That, I don't know, what is what is that? Is that coated or something? I love the little sheen on the denim. I think it might be coated. It might, maybe it's coated. I don't know. That bag as well on the waist, like, whew. Clever little styling piece. This is great. I wonder who style. I wonder who styles these collections. The styling is awesome. This show too. Oh, I love. I love the little peeking out of the underwear too. Those sweats look great. Um, yeah, great collection, man. Easily his best so far, without a shadow of a doubt. I think he really stepped to the levels. You can definitely see all this stuff being worn by real people on Instagram who buy it and by obviously athletes and all that malarkey. That jacket and suit combo is so good. Yeah, so definitely be able to see this on one way very soon. And there's your main man there at the end. Again, insanely jealous, man. Considering he's not a quote-unquote fashion guy, he's coming to this just as a, 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 you know, a real hyper-creative marketing guy with crazy ideas that he probably wants to get on the run, which maybe is, I think maybe fashion is such an, it's interesting, right? The way fashion critics treat streetwear people or people from our scene. They kind of poo-poo us. But if anything, we kind of get involved there because it's the easiest entry level into other things, right? The moment you can prove yourself on a fashion platform, on the, especially Parisian fashion platform, which is, you know, um, super, super, super critical and really hard to get into. But if you can prove yourself on that, on that stage, it automatically allows you to jump into other arenas, right? So in some way, in some guises or in some way, street people are kind of getting into fashion because the E just route in, which is kind of ironic considering how you know, standoffish some of these guys can be. But, you know, everyone's got their way of doing things. But, yeah, congratulations to Heron. Great collection. Um, easily one of my standouts so far. And you're opening a couple of weeks. I've been a couple of days, actually. All the big hitters are going to come um, this week and the next week as well. So watch out for that, I guess.